What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you a little bit of useful information for people who are maybe just getting into the game or just returning to the game um, and you are maybe wanting to look at starting to do ranked or maybe you just want to know where the meta is at at the moment and which heroes you should be playing. If you've just started or maybe you want to learn a new hero or something like that, uh, how should you pick from all of these heroes? You've kind of just seen from the thing that I'm going to show you anyway, but how should you pick across all of these heroes about which hero you want to learn or which is a good investment in your time so it takes a lot of hours to actually learn uh, new heroes and get good at them so how do you know you're not picking a hero that is dead content at the moment so i don't know let's just pick an example off the top of my head let's say for example right now that i don't know bat rider was terrible it probably isn't i don't know we'll check the, we'll ch actually check the win rate of it this is just a random guess um but let's say that you wanted to check you, you, you want to learn bat rider and you didn't want to learn a hero that's just doing really bad at the moment so a good thing you can do, and also just to even check the meta at the moment, is come here to the trends. Now you have to be on Dota Plus for this, or you could use Dota Buff on um, on the internet as well, which I'll link in the description. So you can just use that instead if you would like to. Um, but if you have Dota Plus, uh, which is a very useful thing for returning players as well, in in my opinion, this is I get I get a lot of use out of it anyway. Um, if you come to trends here, now at the top you're gonna have trends for the last eight weeks. Now. This is a really, really useful bit of information and you're going to be able to pick up a lot of stuff about win rates uh, and the, the changes on recent patches and stuff on all the heroes in the game. So as you scroll through here, you can see all these heroes are here and you can actually see which heroes are doing better than all the other ones. So, holy crap, what? Right, I, I shit you not. I didn't know. <laughs> I shit you not, I had no idea Batrider was the lowest win rate in the game right now. That was a complete and utter guess. What the frick are the chances? Either way, there you go. If I'd learned, if I'd said, I'm going to learn Batrider, but I, I really want to win and I want to have a high win rate. Uh, let's see. Batrider is the worst at the moment in, this is Herald Games. So the way this works is there's all the different uh, ranked badges up here. This is tracked for all the ranked games, uh, and as you click them, these are going to adjust. So Batrider is still at the bottom of a 39%, then going up to 40% uh, in Guardian. And then if you go to Crusader, again, it is. so the, the trends are pretty similar, but you'll notice they do change across different ranks. So we're just going to keep checking on good old Batrider here. There you go, Terrorblade suddenly becomes worse once you get to Arkham, um, and Batrider goes up by one position. And then you get further up, and people start getting better with Batrider, and it slowly, slowly gets better and better. Now... As you go further down, where's Bat? He's just completely disappeared. Once you get into Ancient, holy crap, where's he gone? There he is with a 47% win rate. So as you can see, this does change depending on where you are. And I assume when we get to um, up here to Divine, Bat Rider's probably gone even higher, has he? He's probably gone where up here, I'm going to say. Did he go down again? Um, uh, no. It, wait, is he really high up the list? Let's take a quick look. Obviously, this is going to have very little editing. Uh, and I'm going to explain a more about it in just a second. But I do want to know where this bat's just gone. There, 51.3% once you get to Divine. So obviously here, you kind of want to know what rank you're at. Now, what I would do personally is if, for example, you're at Arkham. Now, here, I would come here and I would make sure you are looking at the highest win rate uh, for your rank. And then knowing that these heroes, so these five heroes at the beginning, for example, um, Razor, Lycan, Arkwarden, Meepo, and Ricky are your highest win rate heroes in your rank as of now. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that all the other heroes are bad and you shouldn't pick them. It just means that these are probably the strongest heroes in the meta right now. And while they're probably getting more picks and stuff, a lot of people are picking these heroes because of the fact that they're strong. Now, obviously, you can see here from, from this that it was, it was pretty low, it was pretty low, it was pretty low, and then suddenly, boom, it jumped up. It jumped up from 48.6% to... 57.9% like that just just boom it's done the reason being is Razor got a big buff because Razor got a big buff he his win rate went up massively and now he is the best hero to pick in almost all apart from Herald I believe uh, of the ranks like almost all of them I don't think it's the highest in all of them no so as you get to Ancient and Divine Lycan and then Tinker and a few others do come above but until you get like past Legend like your, your raise is really freaking good like so damn good uh so as you can see here like i said i'd come to your own rank and i would look on both sides of these as well because as you're climbing these ranks you're not only going to be against arkham you're going to um, be looking at these other ranks too 
and just see what's good in those games. Now, there's a, way, a few ways to look at this. It's not just this hero is good, so pick it. Uh, the, the reason these would change isn't just because as you get higher, these heroes are, are just not good enough or they're not picked as much. It's because people know how to deal with them more. So an Archon player may really struggle to know how to deal with Razor, uh, apart from a higher level. There's plenty of things to deal with Razor with, uh, doing things that, oh, it's gone to offline mode, nice. Doing things that are going to reduce his healing from, from the spell steal and stuff, uh, and all that sort of good stuff, and having like, picking the right heroes that counter him. These are the sort of things that people learn as you get higher up, as you know more about the game. So being able to look at this and see what's trending in your actual rank games, in your rank, is a really, really good way of heading up the ladder. Knowing that people at your rank maybe don't know how to deal with draw ranger much as much if you're in a crusader is is good. If draw ranger is a good carry in this this rank, then absolutely go for it. Fifty five percent win rate is brilliant. Anything like around this percentage is is really damn good. Like so so good. And then obviously once you you get closer to getting towards archon, take a look at the archon rank and go right. Um, draw ranger now is a fifty four point five percent, slightly less, but um. I can maybe start looking at maybe like all these other heroes here now so as you can see here meepo here is pretty damn high in the archon rank and then once you get further down he is like way down here and he's he's at 54.4 uh, and then in this one he is even further down at 52 it's still a positive win rate and i would say this is because herald players and guardian players probably struggle to play meepo a bit better than the other people like archon plus but People this enraged, uh, this enrage, at this um, rank down here don't really know how to deal with Meepo as well. So he still does really well. So it'll be different sort of things. But this is really, really useful information. I would suggest taking a look at this and keeping on top of this and, and, and checking it out. And it'll tell you which heroes to play. Like the, the, these are the top heroes to play right now in your rank. And if you're a legend rank, these are the top heroes to play in yours. These are the top heroes to play in yours. And also, the same goes for bands. If you don't want to lane against any of these heroes, or you don't want them in your enemy team, you're not planning on picking them, then ban them. That's the same sort of thing as well. So, this is really useful information. Take advantage of it. It is right here. Again, you can find this online as well on Dota Buff, I believe, for absolutely free. I'll link it in the description if you don't have Dota Plus. But having it right here in game definitely helps, so take advantage of it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please do leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, which are... Most of you will be, because this is a brand new channel. So do help me work towards that lovely 1k sub goal. Uh, we are growing fairly quickly, I would say. It's going pretty good. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.